So here we have Josh Nasher, Queensland Red, Gregory Terrace old boy. Uh, he's a front row forward. So we're going to be doing a little bit of work on our shape on the horizontal plane. So what I mean by the horizontal plane is that one that loves, uh, runs parallel with the ground. Uh, and this is a really, really important specific rugby movement, whether it's your front rower, okay, second rower or a back rower in the scrum. Okay, but it is also very transferable to our breakdown and tackle techniques. So, 1 to 15, right, whether you're a forward or back, half back, this is a really, really important drill and skill that you can be practicing to make you effective in the contact technique points. So, Nash is going to get into some simple sort of scrum shape. He's going to get in a nice, strong position and just trying to hold, uh, starting out for approximately around 20 to 30 seconds. And as you build up strength, you should be able to go longer and longer. So as you can see, he's in a nice solid shape there. Nas, what's really, really important in that shape? Yeah, a few little keys I look for is just staying pretty much neutral through the back and your neck. Just try and keep a straight line. That's where you're most strong. And then in the knees, you want about a 110 degrees bend in your knees. So that's, that's where you get your optimal power to be able to push through. Uh, once, you, once you start to get a bit more confident with that single hold, you can go into one, you can have a water bottle, any, any little object just in front of you. And then just, just staying nice and square through your hips and back. You're just touching and coming back into that nice shape. Remembering 110 degrees in your knees. And yeah, that, that just allows you to keep your core on because in a, in a scrum, if you think about it, or a breakdown, You've got so many opposing forces coming across, and it's just important to stay strong throughout your whole core and legs. Once you're confident with the cone touching one, you can start to introduce a bit of movement. So I'll show you an example. So you go forward, just small, small steps, focusing on your core. Then you go back to this cone, and you go forward. Forwards and backs probably a bit easier, and then you start to go crossways. So just remembering small steps. And yeah, so again, core on, 110 the knees, and then small steps is the main point for that, for that drill. Right, once, you're, once you're confident in all those three drills, this next progression is one that sort of relates more to a game. When you've got those opposing forces coming sideways, from front on, from backwards, so I've got a partner here, if you've got a partner at home, you just get into shape and they'll start to just give you little, little jabs from front ways, backwards and side. It's massively important there to keep your core on. That's a major point there. Core on, 110 and yeah, staying nice and flat through your back are the main points of the, of the scrum and breakdown. Moving on from the shape drills, we're going to go more into a realistic situation that you get in a scrum. Now what I, what I picture a scrum as is just a little box and you're trying to sink to the bottom corner of that box and then chase your feet once you get a bit overextended. So if I'm like this, I'm going to sink my head, knees and hips and then chase. So sink, chase. Always staying low is a massive, massive key to a scrum because if you get high, then you can get your shoulders twisted and get in bad positions. So now you're going to rep, rep that exercise out. So pick a point and then just go five times to sink, chase, sink, chase, sink, chase. Remember the bottom of that box through your knees, your hips and keeping your core on. So you do five of them, walk back around and go again. Okay, if you've got a friend, partner, parents or whatever to help out, you can start to add a bit of resistance to your scrum shape. Still focusing on the bottom of the box, taking your knees, shoulders and hips all at once down to the bottom and chasing your feet. So I've got Zachy here, he's just going to put his hands on my shoulders, I'm just going to sink and chase. Thank you.